Hey, Kayvon, mm -hmm. if you would just take a second and introduce yourself, please. Well, my name is Kayvon, and I've been coming to MABC for about a year. It's been a, about a year since I've been baptized. So tell me about what was your life like before you met Jesus Christ? Before I met Jesus, I was basically a non-religious person. Um, as a kid, I basically had my moral upbringing bestowed upon me by my teachers. I was basically taught that sometimes right is wrong and wrong is right depends on the context. So you shared with me that uh, you were doing you know, some research uh, into uh, theories of how the universe began and it boiled down to before you became a Christian you had to ask yourself three just really hard questions about the origin of the universe. Can you share that a little bit more with me? Um, it boiled down to the universe possibly always existed and all of the research, all of the evidence points to an origin and therefore the universe couldn't have always existed so that rules that possibility out. Um, the second was that there was a beginning to the universe but the universe basically willed itself into existence or itself um, it was its own mother basically that possibility was ruled out based on the scientists own confession that they don't have any evidence so the third and final option that I came up with couldn't think of any more past this but the third and final option was uh, there was a beginning to the universe and that there had to be a creator. So that is when I, I believed on that spot that there had to be a God and he did create the universe and created me. So then when did you come to faith, not just in God, but in Jesus Christ? I began doing some investigating. Um, I was a Buddhist, but they didn't really have any um, their, their beliefs were very fluid from one branch of Buddhism to another, where they just kind of let you go with the flow. So I never became what my mom was, a Buddhist. Um, my dad was from Iran and he was a Muslim, but as soon as he left the country, he never became a Muslim. I then um, investigated the claims of the gospel. So what I did was I Googled the gospel of John and what do you know, the gospel of John movie was on YouTube three hours long and it's the most important three hours of my life I think I was just blown away um, Jesus Christ went in to a city full of his enemies full of people who ended up killing him persecuting him and all his followers and yet they all said he, he did what he what the Gospels claim he did when he cures blindness when he makes a deaf hear, he makes a lame walk, none of his adversaries said, you didn't do that, I was there. They say, you did this because you do it because you're a demon. They do it because you're a magician. They didn't say he didn't do it. So a lot of the claims in the gospel were verified by other people who ne didn't necessarily believe in him. And I just saw all the changed lives as well, my cousin, and my aunt and uncle, they were very strong Christians. They had something that I wanted. They had peace, they had patience, they had all these virtues that I didn't have, that I couldn't build. Uh, I, I couldn't build a personality around you know, any of my beliefs. And after accepting the Lord Jesus Christ, there is now a rock that I could build my life upon, build my identity on. No, the difference between right and wrong. He died for me. He saw all the, all the gross stuff that I might have done, all the evil within me. He saw all the stuff that I did and he decided that he loved me enough to die for me. And if you want just hope and a future and a purpose to live for, you can find it in the Lord Jesus, that's my true belief.